Hi, this is Rick. This is uh, a new script which I've just completed called Ross Body Bag. It uh, works in multiplayer, single player, and allows you to uh, collect dead bodies and bag them, put them on a, a medivac chopper, and uh, fly them off to uh, a location where they essentially get deleted. Um, you have about six different choppers that you can use for the medivac process. Uh, the most appropriate one would be the RHS uh, UH60, I think it is, uh, M. And then you've got the Ghost Talk over there. Um, and uh, two variants uh, of that. And two variants of the CH49. Um, some of them are much more appropriate uh, to use. That, this one here, obviously the best, because you've got a nice floor space. But uh, the others, they they would stagger the the body bags uh, at a diagonal across the floor, going down the length of the the chopper. And the same thing uh, here, they'd lie um, uh, 90 degrees to the uh, body or fuselage direction. Okay, so I've got a couple of dead uh, units here. These are specialized units that are mentioned in the script, like like this guy and. Uh, that guy over there, press man. These are these are named or uh, named units. When they get uh, killed, I can use a, a evac to come collect them specifically, or maybe just one. Uh, I can also use it to um, to collect my own teammates. Uh, their AI. Um, I'll show you how it works. We got a man down. When you walk up to a dead body, you get the option to bag the body. Plus uh, a zip sound. It also pops a flag. The flag is there for uh, to help uh, you find the body if it's um, obviously in long grass. Um, you get an option to remove the flag as well. I'm going to take it. I can call the medivac in as soon as I've bagged one body. Roger. Medivac and bound to your position. ETA two mics. Spawns the chopper in at about three kilometers away, in some random direction. Default chopper is this RHS chopper. You need to obviously then have this as a dependent mod if you're going to use the um, going to use the default RHS USAF. Wait until all the current available body bags are placed in the chopper. Right now I'm transferring transferring the body bags to the chopper, not in the chopper, next to the chopper. Unfortunately the body bag doesn't bend so I can't drag the body bag and make it look realistic. Um, and I can't carry them because they don't bend and so they look really weird. You could possibly put them into a vehicle and drive them to the chopper. Um, okay, so put these guys in. Once this particular run is complete, you can then call, so if I have another guy that's uh, shot in the meantime, they can do an infinite number of uh, 
visits to collect. It clears, you can see it clears the grass around the landing spot. This makes it a little easier to find the body bag in the grass. So uh, that's how it works. Works in multiplayer, single player, useful for co op missions or missions where you have to uh, assassinate someone and maybe bring the body back for forensic investigation and so on. Um, once it gets to about three kilometers away, it will be removed. Or you can specify an area that you want it to land and it will land there. You can take the bag out. Right, so how to use the script? Uh, just quickly go through the features again. It uses the default uh, Laws of War body bag. You don't have to own Laws of War in order to use the body bag uh, in the script. Um, custom sound effects. Uh, there's the body bag zipper, the medivac pilot comms. That flag it uh, as gets auto created to mark the body bag for easy location. Uh, Hilo drops red smoke on landing, opens the cargo doors, uh, works in single player and multiplayer missions. Only the team leader has control of the body bag creation, loading, and medivac retrieval process. Ability to have uh, custom dead bodies, uh, irrespective of side, collected by the medivac. So it strongly recommends that you use the RHS uh, USAF uh, mod, well, the medivac, because that's the best, uh, most suitable one. Uh, you need to be within 30 meters of the body bag to call the evac chopper. Just place the following line into your init.sqf file and that's all you need to do. Then copy and merge the scripts and sound folder in the demo mission into your mission folder. Copy the CFG sound classes from the supplied description ext to your mission description.ext. If you don't have these files, that file just make it. Use a notepad or something. Make sure that it's a a .ext extension, not, D, not .txt. There's some configurable options. You can choose the side. Um, you can specify which chopper you want to use. Obviously, if you don't want to use RHS uh, for some unknown reason, you can then choose one of these. You just change this number. Um, and then if you've got custom units that you want to be able to collect, uh, to collect uh, or put into the, the evac chopper, Medivac chopper, you can just put the name of the object variable into um, into this array over here. So one of the guys is called Omar, and the other one's called Pressman. Okay. Um, and so those are the configurable options. And so that's how it works. If you like this uh, script, please give me uh, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't, so you get notified of uh, you know new content when we release it. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.